Who would think all these pretty little blue flowers would be something you could drink? <laughs> well, it's not really the flowers that you drink. It's the roots after they're processed. Um, look at the little bees. Look at the white on them. Get sidetracked here, but I just think that's fascinating as they collect the pollen and stuff, how it gets on their little legs like that. But it's actually pretty, but it's a weed, and it's a tough weed. As it's coming up, my hose always gets wrapped around the knobs of the partial plant that's up, and they're just tough. I mean, they are tough. Um, and they are a bit of a weed, that's for sure. They can take, they're everywhere, but they're actually kind of pretty, and you can eat the roots if you could ever get it out of the hard ground. <laughs> And that's why I ended up um, getting some at the wrong time. The best time to collect roots is in the fall because then all your minerals and all the good stuff from the plant is down stored in the roots. But it's when you can get it and after the irrigation. Well, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Like I said, it grows all over the place. And I could give you more. It grows all in the, our lawn area and everywhere. And the back pasture where I happen to be able to pull those up. And you'll find out about that in a minute. In the video, I'm going to try some raw before it's roasted or anything. And at first it didn't taste real bitter, but as it set, it got pretty bitter. Um, I haven't tried it. I haven't got to the point of roasting it yet. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's a piece of chicory root there. And that one. And there's some chicory root down here. Look at all that chicory in there. Yeah, they just um, irrigated, but they only irrigate right here in the front by the trees. So the ground's soft here, and I was able to pull them out. Now what I'm going to do is take them up front, and I'm going to pressure spray them off and get the main dirt off, and then I'll cut the ends off. I'll show you. Let's take him along the process. Okay. Out back. I was, some of them were up on the fence, I was trying to show you, because I was inside there throwing them over, but um, I, there's no way I can get the chicory on the end that they didn't irrigate, that ground is harder than a rock. So what I'm going to do now is take this pressure washer and, uh, let's see, and then just turn that on and spray those off. It's already starting to get hot. Eesh. I'm trying to get this as clean as I can out here because I have no water in the house. I would have done this a different day, but the, they just stopped the irrigation. It won't be for another month, and that we'll have it. And that ground dries fast in this heat, and I'd never get these out if I didn't pull them now. So the only place I have water is the front yard hose right now. So I've got to go get a knife and cut the ends off and... Make sure I do any final rinsing and then I'll take them in to chop them up because once they get hard, you can't chop them up. And this is my only opportunity to do this, water or no water in the house. So here I go. Okay, I'm chopping them in this old wooden chair. It's busted anyway, so. Um, I'm, that started on some small ones. This one's pretty good sized, but it's still fairly tender at the bottom. And I'm really kind of surprised, as tender as it is, sometimes your bigger ones are pretty tough, but this one will be a good one. Now, this one is a good one. It's, it's firm, but it's pliable. You can still work with it. This one feels mushy down here and hard up here, so I don't think that's a good root. I don't know what happened to that root, but I'm not going to use it. And you have to kind of... You know, go by feel and look on these things. Yeah, the thing about foraging or growing your own is you can pick which the good healthy things. You don't have to, you go to the store and buy something, you may get stuff that's not all that healthy. So, I only use the healthy stuff. This is all I use. You might say, how did you know that was chicory, Miss Steele? How did you identify it? Well, they have little blue flowers now. The little blue flowers are mostly closed. Some of them might open up again, but I've been out there watching the birds on them and stuff. I know what they look like. Even the leaves actually are edible, 
but I'm not going to eat them. I just want the roots this time. Most of the flowers are are closed up on it and kind of had their day. You, um, but yeah, you just get used to chicory. The leaves down at the bottom, look look at this, they look a, a lot like dandelion leaves, don't they? And you can eat them just like you can eat dandelion leaves, and they're bitter like dandelion leaves. But um, it's not dandelion. Sometimes I have got confused in the early stages and they're coming up, but you can, these are, you can, these are edible anyway, so it didn't, doesn't make any difference if you confuse them. As far as the nutrients and taste might be slightly different, but yeah. Okay, you said, well, what are you going to do with the tops? Well, they're too big to put in my compost bin. And they're really tough to break up. And it's so hot right now. I'm doing well to get done what I'm doing. So I put a lot of my stuff in this hole here. I've been filling it up for the last year with big branches and stuff. Let me show you my compost bin. This is my little compost bin over here. And, uh, yeah, I had a nice thing of compost this year from last year, but, um, didn't go very far because that's a small bin. I probably need to do more bins, but it's just me, so I don't worry too much about it all. I'm really tired. I'm going to go finish washing up those roots and then I'm going to slice them up. I'll try to show you that part. Okay, I went and got a bowl and filled up with water out there and brought in the house so I could put my roots in and really scrub them. Get me a little brush. I think I'll brush them up and scrub them. And then I'll put them on here, my trusty, dusty cutting board. And that's just um, stains. It's not dirty. It's probably cut in turmeric root, it looks like. Okay. I'm going to cut these up. And then, while they're still somewhat pliable, I'm going to run them through my little uh, processor and grind them up so I can use them like a, um, a beverage. You can make like, it's like a coffee substitute. Okay, on this one, it was really tender till right up about this spot, so then I have to stop there. I'll just set those over there. I'll get put those in the compost, and this I can put in here. Now, this one, it's clean, too, believe it or not, but uh, I use my, I do my herbs in that, and, like, when I cut up cloves, it actually pits it real slightly, and... Uh, it's a film on it, but it'll dry back with that film again. I don't know what it is, but uh, cloves are very powerful and a couple other herbs too. But yeah. Yeah, if this probably would have been a comedy video, somebody would have been videotaping me out there pulling these chic chicory plants up. I'd grab them and pull and nearly fall on my butt in the mud because it is very muddy for me irrigating. <laughs> But, uh, I made it, and I picked a few, but it's really hot, too, so if I sound kind of out of breath, I, I just, I am not one to handle all this heat. Wow, I got quite a bit out of that root. I can't get my camera any lower down if I want to talk to you. So, anyway, that's the way this camera is. Um... So I'm just continuing to I'm continuing to slice these roots up and put them in my bullet, little bullet holder thing, and then I will grind them up and kind of spread them out to dry. Now it didn't make too much once you cut them up. When I grind them, it'll be even less. It takes a lot of plant to get very much. Okay, I'm going to get the spatula and get as much as I can off from here. Actually, I did pretty good. There's there's a good little bunch here. And I may warm up a little water and try some fresh. And then I'm just going to spread it all out and let it dry. And I'll have a little bit. And if I get a chance to get some more later, I'll just add to it. So there's your chicory root. Um, maybe if I make some of the fresh, I'll let you know what the fresh tastes like. Okay. Now how I'm going to do this is, I've never heard of anybody using it fresh, but 
<laughs> we'll see what happens. I always like trying different things I've never heard about. I'm going to put some in here, and I'm going to add, oh, there's probably a teaspoon of it. I'm going to add about a cup of wa hot water, and I'm just going to let it set a while so it'll draw all that out of there. And I'll probably taste it that way, and then I may add, if it's fairly good, I may add some cold water and ice cubes and drink it cold instead of hot. I'm always trying new things, but I'll let you know what it tastes like. Thought I thought I'd share with you now. I uh, got some of the moisture with the paper towel, but I didn't want to leave it on the paper towel to dry because it might stick to the paper towel. So, and I would lose some, and I don't have a whole lot anyway. So I'm just kind of spreading it out on this wooden board, and hopefully it shouldn't stick on that when it dries. So that's how I'm drying it. Okay, until we get the, somebody to fix the pipe or whatever and I get water in the house, I'm going to have to think what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go back in time <laughs> like they used to do. I got a pitcher of water from out front, put it in this bowl, and then if I need to wash my hands or something, I have it right here to wash in. So that's what I'm doing there. Here is the hot water and the chicory root, and I'll probably let that steep for about an hour. Ooh, I just took a sip of it, even though it'll get more. I just was really curious. Um, it's not only the wrong time of year, but it's not even been dried, and I've never heard anybody try the before it, when it's not dried, but it wasn't bitter. Uh, maybe it'll get more bitter as it sets and does that, but it seemed pretty good. Although I don't think there's going to be a lot of medicinal properties to it this time of year, but oh well, like I said, I do what I can do when I can do it. Uh, nope, that's not chicory. Wrong color. That's pink. Chicory is blue, but it's pretty, isn't it? Look at this, though. The color of the chicory is really pretty with the pink, huh? <laughs> okay, I, I hope that y'all give me a thumbs up on this video because it really helps my video. And if you can share on social media, that helps me too because I'm trying to grow. I'm just a, a little channel. But little or big, we all need your thumbs up. When I watch y'all's videos, I always try to give you a thumbs up. So, anyway, oh, I wanted to tell you, too, after that chicory set for a while, it got pretty bitter. It does need to be roasted, but um, I guess coffee's somewhat bitter, too, and they, a lot of people used to drink chicory root instead of coffee when they couldn't get a hold of coffee, and some people like chicory root better than coffee. So, raw, it's not too good. But anyway... I, I'm i just thankful for the beauty of this time of year, like these colors in the flowers and stuff, and even in the weeds, <laughs> like chicory. <laughs> um, God's so good to us in so many ways. It's easy to look at all the negative things around us, but there's a lot of beauty as well, and we need to try to concentrate on that beauty because God has given us much beauty to get through this life with. So I bid you all adieu, and we will catch you next time.